Nick's Wrestling Pilates Guy and today I'm going to talk to you about your butts, about your glutes, okay? Our biggest problem, one of our biggest problems in the West from a muscular function, musculoskeletal perspective is the fact we sit down. There's lots of issues around this but one I'm talking about today is the glutes which we sit on and they switch off, okay? So this causes either weak glutes or if they're not weak they don't function very well. So it might be that you've got one underfiring glutes or there's just some dysfunction around the glutes, okay? So I will give you a drill that's going to correct this. Some of the problems that these, the glutes, um, dysfunction with the glutes can cause are things like IT band problems, uh, causing knee pain, ankle pain, back pain, hip pain, shoulder and even neck pain. It can cause plantar fasciitis, gait problems. Um, it can cause many, many postural issues. And one of the other things that's really common and a good sign that you've got an issue with your glutes is if you are a sports person um, or at least part-time sports person, you know, weekend warrior, that sort of thing, constantly getting hamstring and calf strains. It's a really good sign that there's something going on with the glutes. So this drill will help. The drill that I'm going to give you, you can do as I show you on the video on the floor, but you can also do it when you're sat at your desk, at work, at home. You can do it standing in a queue. Um, and it will be a good idea to try and do three rounds of this um, drill every day to try and hit about 15 minutes. There's a recent study shown did show that this 15 minutes of glute squeezes in the way that I'm going to show you improves performance, includes the function of the glutes and can help with all the problems I've just said about and more. So here's the drill based on the floor. Um, so just work your way through this, get used to it and then you can use it as and wherever you want to and try and aim for that three times a day. We'll bring yourself down onto the mat, hands stacked one on top of the other and I'm going to put your forehead on your hands, shoulders back and down, your legs are lengthened out behind you, hip distance apart. You can go toes in towards each other if you want, relaxing heels outwards, pigeon toe, that's fine. And we need, very important, when we lie on that front, we arch the back. So we just want a little suck of the tailbone, pubic bone, hip bones in towards the mat. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at you every now and then and talking to you, but I want you forehead down, upper body relaxed, core engaged, tailbone tucked. I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you breathe out, I want you to squeeze your left bum cheek as tight as you can. Just squeeze, 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 squeeze that left glute as tight as you can. Try and keep the rest of the leg relaxed and down and focus the energy on that glute. Keep just squeeze. Breathe. Now, your right glute might have kicked in. And if it has, relax it off for me and just focus on squeezing the left. This can cause a lot of problems with, with people with a bit of dysfunction in the glutes. One of the biggest problems in the Western world, we sit on these all the time, they stop working. Keep your core engaged, keep breathing, little tuck of the tailbone still, we're squeezing that glute as tight as we can. We've got seven seconds left. Keep squeezing, give everything now, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that glute and relax completely, rock from side to side a little bit. Send yourself back up. Forehead down, tailbone tucked, core strong, legs relaxed. Nice deep breath in. And we breathe out, we squeeze the right bum cheek as tight as we can. Typically, this is probably the strong one, you'll probably get more control of this one for the majority, not for everyone. Squeezing that right glute as tight as you can, keeping your tailbone a bit tucked, keeping your core engaged like there's a drawing pin under your belly button, help the muscles as well. Now, try and relax the left side off. It probably has kicked in a bit. It will keep kicking in, just keep kicking it back out. Keep relaxing the left as you squeeze that right glute tight as you can. Keep your core engaged, keep breathing, keep going with that for me. Keep squeezing, focus, mind muscle connection. Close your eyes and just think about that glute, that bum cheek and squeeze. Just under 10, keep going for me. Keep squeezing, squeeze, 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 tight as you can. And relax. Relax completely, rock from side to side. So there's only one place we can go with this. We're going to do one more round and I'm going to give you a few options as we work through this round, okay? So, we're going to start with the legs apart, but we will bring the legs together at some point, but I'll talk you through it. So forehead down, tailbone tight, core strong. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to squeeze your bum cheeks together, squeeze your glutes together. Okay, so squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes as tight as you can. Keep tucking your tailbone a little bit so you're pushing your pubic bone hip bones in towards the floor. Keep pulling your belly button up to your spine and lifting your pelvic muscles. While thinking about all of that, don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing, keep squeezing those glutes. 
Remember, you can relax when you need to, but ideally we keep holding, we keep squeezing. Now, if you want to work harder, option number one, we're going to zip the legs up from bum down to heels. So you're going to slowly bring your thighs together, bring your calves together, bring your heels together. We're squeezing heels, we're squeezing bums. Okay. Next option is you're going to let your legs lengthen and lift while squeezing your glutes and your heels. Imagine that 50 pound out between your heels and you don't need to take your legs, so you squeeze as hard as you can, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your heels, keep core engaged, keep breathing. You've got 15 seconds left. Okay, you can pulse if you wanted to for these last 15. Very small pulses from the glutes. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the heels. 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. Keep the core engaged. Keep your forehead relaxed. Three, two, and one. Relax your legs. Rock from side to side. And we will push back to a child's pose. Okay, so that's the drill. Hopefully you found that useful and you feel the benefit already. If you have got any questions about anything I've covered here or anything else, please feel free to get in touch with me. It's russ at pilatesguy.co.uk or you can go to my website, which is www.pilatesguy.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching.